Hey Venridge, I'm Paige Wilkinson here with your at home version of the Daily Ramble. Today's Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, a day who knows what on your academic calendar. For the weather today, it's looking partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 39. Today's weather will be nice along with tomorrow's, but you can expect some showers moving into Friday. And now on to our announcements. From Minithon, for all of you that were anticipating, including me, Minithon has not been canceled. It was rescheduled to May 23rd. Check their Instagram for all the details. And from the College and Career Center, reminder to seniors who submitted the initial paperwork for the Penridge Community Scholarships and Awards. The final supporting documentation is due on Friday, April 3rd. Check your Canvas assignments for details. Questions can be emailed to Ms. Lewis at clewis at penridge.org. And the Pen Ed Literary Magazine Club at PHS will still be published in some capacity this year. The deadline has been extended. They are seeking new writing submissions and cover designs for the 2020 volume. One writer will be chosen as the page one writer and will receive a $25 Amazon gift card. Please visit the link to enter. All submissions are now due by April 7th, 2020. Good luck and keep the pen moving. That's it for me. I'm going to hand it off. Stay happy. Stay healthy, Penridge. What's up guys, I'm Nolan Snyder and it is now time for another edition of Today in Sports History. On April 1st, 1930, Chicago Cubs catcher Leo Hartnett broke the altitude record for a catch by gloving a baseball drop from the Goodyear blimp 800 feet over Los Angeles, California. Wow, who knew a catcher could be able to do that considering the amount of work they put in? That's it for me, hope you guys are safe and well, now to the next segment. Hey everybody, this is DJ Bobby here everybody, hope everybody's doing great. This is Bobby Way from the Ramble here, everybody. Uh, this is Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing good. This is my DJ set. Just wanted to go over some information about how to be a DJ. And um, this is my DJ setup here. Uh, my MC6000 DJ 4-channel controller. Running Virtual DJ. And I'm running one of my monitors, which is the Electric Voice zx 12 p And this is the whole DJ setup. So... Let's put on a track and show you guys how this works. So we got Virtual DJ, really high-end software. Recommend any DJ out there if you guys are starter DJs. Uh, this here is a uh, DJ software, which I have. And um, I'm going to play you guys something really cool here. Hold on a second. So, hope everybody's doing really good here. That was my DJ setup, everybody. My name is Bobby White, here at The Ramble. Hope you guys have a great day, Penridge, and make it a safer, safer week. Thank you.